you if you say you have to enter heaven with your wife right you can enter heaven with your wife but you aren't enter a particular temple with your wife i don't think that's fair no I, no no I, no 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 i, I take the next question no you, you can't have the last the word on question, that sadguru you can't have the last word on that i won't have the last word i'll give the question there i am one observation sadguru uh, which is an an a comment probably you haven't seen oh my god you you need to have you need to have a look at that because to get all the spiritual gurus in india under one platform never happens it only happens when you scare and since you're using the word screwed up i'll use the word when you when you scare the shit out of them uh but coming to the serious part of it uh you know i i consider you and uh, you know i i want to give a disclaimer uh i really don't i have a spiritual sense within me but i don't really follow any spiritual guru uh and and therefore uh, when when you know when i actually went through internet and and heard a few of your interviews in conversation uh i found in you a very logical person a person who uh, uh, is practical a person who is scientific in his answers and therefore you know there was a connect but there were two things uh, which actually broke that connect and there's a disconnect and i hope you can mend that today uh, which is when you talked about and, and maybe i got it wrong so therefore you know if if you could just kindly explain what you meant by that uh, that certain women uh, don't need to enter certain temples okay. or maybe women in certain temples need to know, uh, you know need to stay out so that's one and the other is the recent one where in jalikattu you talked about uh, fundamental rights of animals and every birds and everything but in jalikattu you uh, supported uh, the the other side of it so why was this and uh, since it was kept uh, political by arnab most part of it <laughs> and i think many of us out here were wanting to hear the spiritual side of you uh, so i i'm following it up with a with a with a political question so we must understand this there are two reasons those people who are propagating certain things and also there is a certain unfortunate discriminatory process but essentially culturally this nation before invasions and other things happened this nation did not have a big discriminatory process between men and women you look back on the ancient societies here there was absolutely no discrimination most of the country was matriarchal they obviously because this is you must understand many things today are common between men and women not because of liberalism simply because of technology technology has leveled the ground in many ways your muscle doesn't mean as much as it meant a thousand years ago when human beings were doing everything with their body man's muscles were important so he dominated the world in a certain way once technology came your muscles me if you have lot of muscles we'll give you a menial job we're not going to make you the boss here so because of that things change slowly but in the spiritual dimension of this country there never was any discrimination you must understand if you don't know this as per the hindu norms a hindu man cannot go to heaven without his wife how nice is that there are no other apsaras and other whatever they are not waiting there you have to go there with your wife you decide whether you want to go to heaven or not that's up to you <laughs> but a hindu ma man cannot go to heaven without his wife next to him she has to be there so these are different ways this society address this but when the invasions happen particularly first thing that they're going for is your wife and your daughter that's the first thing that people will take away and it's the most disgraceful thing and the most painful thing so they all hit them in the granaries of the time and when continuously these raids were ravaging the society slowly don't step out of the house became a norm because generation after generation the raids kept on happening so there are many historical aspects leave that about the temple entry there is no such thing anywhere that a woman should not enter a temple because she is a woman do you understand it is just that certain temples they are doing certain occult work 
there are certain forces there. <laughs> I, I have to talk about biology. One thing is mountain temples, we said women should not go. Because you must understand, those were days, this is a tiger land. When I say tiger land, today the poor tiger has to be protected as if it's a pussycat. Those days they prowled in thousands. Going into the jungle and coming back alive is a big thing. If you don't know this, even today there is a practice that if people, tribal people walk in the jungle, though there are not so many tigers anymore, they will take some incense and walk because they don't want the wild animals to smell them. There is Samrani in the South Indian temple. You know what Samrani? What do you call it in North? Samrani only, right? Yeah, either they burn it or they smear it on their body and walk so that the wild animals, the carnivorous animals cannot smell you. It is no more relevant because there are not so many left. But at that time it was really tiger country. So the very nature of woman's biology is such that a carnivorous animal will always smell out a woman much more easily than a man. Especially at certain times of the month, it will definitely smell it, smell her out. So they said, mountain temples, she should not go. All the mountain temples, they're restricted. Now those things are gone, women are equipped in a different way than the way they were at that time and the wildlife is scant, it is very much possible to go. The other kind of temples where they were asked not to go were where they're doing occult work. When they're doing occult work, I'm telling you, whether you like it or you don't like it, maybe you are liberal, but you don't know the fundamentals of nature. The nature is such that when you do certain occult work, a woman is more susceptible to damage herself in such situation than a man. Even for a man, if there is any injury in the body, they won't let him into that place where they're doing occult because it will affect him. So, this was done with a certain care and concern, not as a discrimination. Today you're taking it up as a political activism and thinking everybody should go to everywhere, it's fine. Then the thing is you should not do that kind of work because it'll be harmful. Even today in this country, if a woman is in early stage of pregnancy, we won't allow her to come to the funerals. Do you know this? It is a very sensible thing to do. It is not discrimination, it is protection, not just for the woman, but for the child that she carries. It's very, very important. If you do not look at life the way it is, how the life forces function, how it is best for us to be, and if you just talk about social equality, social equality, then you will do silly things which will only in the end make the woman suffer. But now it's become political activism, probably those temples are not doing any occult of any great strength, so maybe it doesn't matter, that's a different matter. <coughs> but if you're talking politics, if you're talking about equality, there are only two places where you should be even concerned whether somebody is a man or a woman. What is in somebody's pants is not your business. Only in bedrooms and bathrooms <laughs> no, no, you must be concerned about sa these sa things. Sadhguru, if I may completely, totally, thousand percent disagree with you. I… I have… you know, in this country, the problem has been that a lot of people take upon themselves the responsibility of protecting women. This and is, this no, is no, let not me give like you that. my perspective, Sadhguru. You see, in this country of ours, at one point of time, it was also told that sati is tradition. So we must… Shall I… shall I clear no, no, that? I, now I, you raise something, can, no, shall no, I let, clear let that? Me complete the, okay. Let me complete the one. The second point is, there are no tigers who are going to eat women when they go to Shani Shignapur or Sabrimala. By your own argument, there was a rationale, you say, for not letting women, a logical rationale for not letting women into temples earlier. That rationale doesn't exist today. It doesn't, that's so what I'm change, saying. So then change the rules, which have been I, created. I'm saying just that, where it comes from and where when situations change, we have to change the norms accordingly, that's what I'm saying. So, so, so Sadhguru, and anyway… No, no, Sadhguru, see here, look at how unfair this is. In this country, there are women who can be divorced on WhatsApp, on triple talaq, on that's WhatsApp. A, that's another matter. No, it's, a, it's the same matter. In this woman, in this country, you must answer, understand the sensibilities of people today. They are going to question what is injustice. Definitely. A woman is being kept out of a temple because she is told that she is impure.
by the definition of what is pure and impure if it doesn't apply no, no. in today's context then we need to give voice to that all i'm saying to you sadguru is another point of polite disagreement with you and we will never agree on this point is no, that no, we will come that, we'll is, come is to is the that, agreement no, disagreement no, no, is that is that things have changed i know this personally sadguru i have some understanding of the pulse of this country we did a campaign called the right to pray i wish sadguru you were there with me when phone lines were opened when people men women children from all over the country called up and said what happens in shani shignapur haji ali or sabri malai is unfair See. that is a perspective which must be understood See, that's all i've said please sir, if you but we go the thing is i know you, you i know you are in a certain uh, profession where you only ask questions but you must listen to what i'm saying no i i sadguru sadguru Sadhguru, Sadhguru, let me tell you one thing. Let me, let, no, let no, me no, finish one, this. Just, no, let no, me finish. No, no, you no, asked no, a question, no, right? No, no, Sadhguru, let me, let me tell you one thing. Please understand that the logic is also understood by people and the right to question what is wrong is essential to my profession. Yes. The day I stop questioning what is I'm wrong… I am not questioning that. I will not be true to my I am not questioning that. But I am telling you, please, because what is simple basic logic? and in how many ways life happens are two different things. Whatever we did to protect from wildlife and stuff is not relevant anymore because women are not in the same condition, they are equipped in many different ways. Going up to hill temples would be very much possible, that's not an issue at all. But where there is genuine occult, I would still not send my daughter there or anybody that I know because this even for a man, if he's in a certain condition, it'll affect him if he's not of a certain nature. But woman is much more susceptible to this. Is such a thing happening in a temple or not is a questionable thing. But this is not about protecting woman from somebody because this is the nature of our biology, we cannot ignore it, all right? Now, talking about sati, Nobody can endorse such a thing. Talking about three words will dismantle your marriage because three words may happen in moments of anger and disagreement and something and it's over, this is another thing altogether. Sati as a thing came up again when only when men were killed in battle. When men were killed in battle, when other people entered the towns, what happened to the women was worse than death. Because of that, they got into this mode, when my husband who is a soldier dies, I kill myself because what happens after that is worse than death. So that came from that and somebody exploited and stretched it, well, we stopped that reasonably, I think almost… almost totally stopped that, that's a different thing. If you think I am speaking for not equality of women, it's… Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say anything, I don't want to defend that because my life is not about looking at someone as man and woman. As I said, only… only in a certain context of our life, we have to recognize the gender of a person. In the rest of the time, why should we even recognize the gender of a person? A human being is a human being. Only in certain aspects of our life, somebody is a man, somebody is a woman. All the time thinking, I am a man, you are a woman is… Uh, drives to I, madness. I, I, I'll make this pass, but I'll just make one observation. If you… if you say you have to enter heaven with your wife, I, you can enter heaven with your wife, but you aren't enter a particular temple with your wife, I don't think that's fair. No, I, no, no, I, no, 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 I, I take the next question. No, you, you can't have the last the word on question, that. <laughs> you can't have the last word on that. I won't have the last word, I'll give the question there. I'm… I only mention the heaven business, not because I believe there is a heaven, no, no. I d did not talk about the heaven because I think there is a heaven and you're going to heaven. I know you're not it's going it's to any such place. But <laughs> I am saying the source, the society and the culture try to control the natural urge for a man to dominate the woman with these kind of things. That's all I said.